Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general reading for April 2022, Taurus Sun, Moon Rising, Venus Signs, and Cross Watchers. Happy birthday, Taurus, for all those with April birthdays. I hope that you have an amazing birthday month. And especially for Taurus Rising, it's really a solar return energy with the sun entering your first house of self. So I pre-pulled you a card and you got don't stop. Okay, so I'm going to pull you a Mindful Messages card. What else for Taurus for April, please? All right, so we have up and out. So it says, to heal the parts of me that hurt, I must feel every emotion. It has to come up to come out. I don't try to push my feelings away. I sit with them and feel them as I release them. So for some of you, especially if this is your solar return energy, you may really be feeling like there is a strong need to focus on you, yourself, your health, your well-being. What are your goals? What do you want? So it may be like you're really taking stock and there may be a lot of emotions coming up from the surface, maybe things from the past or things that you've really been feeling. I'm gonna pull one for the main guidance and three for the situation. All right, so yeah, we have the hermit. Definitely a message of going within, feeling through things. It may be a bit solitary for you right now. You may be needing to just take a break from life in general with the hermit. Especially with this up and out, right? Feeling through things. Things are coming to the surface that maybe you have been hidden. So the Hermit is Virgo energy. I'm going to pull three for the situation. This could be leading to some kind of an awakening. Maybe you're really figuring out what it is that you want and desire. Yeah, needing to really get clear here. Nine of Wands is like the challenge energy. It can feel like it's a time where you really need to persevere. Justice can be about really getting clear. I'm just going to pull one more for the situation. All right. King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Okay, so let me clarify this Justice card. Now, Justice is a, a message of really getting clear. It's a message of equality. So if you're feeling like you're not receiving the same back that you give, I feel like there's a message of like really just needing to take a step back this month. Searching for inner truths. That's a strong message. Searching for inner truths. So the Nine of Wands came out again. We have the Knight of Cups and the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is that somebody's not seeing something clearly. So if there's confusion, if things aren't being seen clearly, it's because you really need to go within and feel your way through. This could be involving this King of Wands person. The clarity is going to come from going within and stay in your integrity. Let's clarify this King of Wands. Definitely stay in your integrity. Four of Pentacles. Somebody that's holding on to, yeah, holding on to a lot of hurt and pain. So that up and out message, the emotions, the feelings need to come out. Now, this could be somebody that you are also involved with. But yeah, releasing baggage from the past, the hurt, the pain. So there's a lot of healing, I feel like, this month. So yeah, times can feel a little bit stressful or heavy. And especially because we do have the Aries new moon, April 1st. And if you're Taurus rising, that could be falling in your 12th or 1st house. 12th house of release, King of Wands could be representing that Aries new moon. 
with the lover's energy, it is definitely a message of staying on track. It's a message of duality. And duality can be dealing with the light and the dark, the masculine, the feminine. So I feel like it is definitely a time of release, getting clear, getting back on track. Especially, I feel like for some of you, you've almost been feeling a bit lost. And you're needing that clarity to come through. So I'm going to pull some Oracle cards. All right, I'm going to pull a few cards from this deck. Potty, so this can be somebody that you're attracted to. Yeah, trickster. Shadow queen. King. Wow, and the king of wands. So yeah, this person may not like to let their guard down for some of you. Um, or maybe you don't like to let your guard down, but there's this trickster energy. Dealing with some of the shadow work coming up. All right, what else do we have for Taurus, please? Mayhem, your manifestation is happening. Current issue reveals past wounds. Spiritual growth, hang in there, hang tight. Beliefs come true. Your beliefs create your reality. Recognize and change emotions. Reprogram the subconscious mind. The next step, daily steps towards your dream, manageable goals, mentorship, doors opening, success. And we have surprise in a way that you wouldn't expect. A gift from the universe, intense twist of fate, eclipse in news. So lots of strong energies this month. I feel like it's going to be very intense for my Taurus people. All right. So there's a lot of cards here. What I feel strongly is to take these two. Do the work in clearing debts. Your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. It's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the positive action steps you're being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. So there is very strong messages here, Taurus. Clearing out debts. And for some of you, it can be really emotional, right? So some shadow work here. Focusing on your beliefs. Reprogramming the subconscious mind. Maybe you dealt with this trickster energy in the past. And if you're seeking justice, you're going to get it. But I also feel like it's the work that you're going to be putting into things. And what I mean by that is where you're focusing your energy. Make yourself a priority this month. I hope that you guys have an amazing month ahead. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.